everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel and it's time for a chatty get ready with me. And uh, I'm running out of time people, I'm running out of time. Uh, I've got this chatty get ready with me. Next week is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving week I will have a video up Monday and Tuesday. I might throw one up later if my Ipsy Plus arrives sometime between now and... Tuesday I will do uh, the Ipsy Plus if it doesn't come I'm not planning on doing anything else like I said I'll have a video up Monday and Tuesday of next week the week after that is I'm going to try to film and put up as many videos as I possibly can um, and then it'll be cruise time and the minute we get back from cruise, it'll be surgery time. So, you'll get videos from me a couple next week. The following week, um, I will try to do what I can. Sample stash Monday. Uh, I, I think I could get it up on Monday. I think I'll be able, I'll be alright. So, I'm going to do next week, two days, maybe three. The following week, I'm going to try to have a video up all week and try maybe to have extras. If I don't have extras, I don't have extras. And then I don't know when you'll see me again. I'll do the best I can. And uh, I was thinking while I am recuperating, I may do some live streams. I just might grab my lap my laptop and sit in my recliner and just talk to you guys. Do I, Will I have makeup on? Maybe, maybe not. I know you guys don't care. You know what? You guys know I'm not vain. Look at me. Here I am. I don't care. So anyway, let's let's get some makeup on. I'm trying to use up this Laura Mercier. My goal is to use this up before the cruise. I think I'll have that done. And uh, this one will be done. I'm going to make a video about um, something I have on my mind. It is, um, well, you know what? I think I'll save it for the video. I have a video. Uh, I have an idea for a video. And you know what? I might put that up next week. That sounds good. I might film it after this one. You might see it next week. That'll be a good filler video. Okay. Three videos next week. Three videos next week. Okay. Last week, let's talk about this past week. Uh, Brian and I went on a getaway. We left Saturday, uh, no, Sunday night. After Brian got off work, he and I just drove down to Duncan, South Carolina, and we spent two nights in Duncan at a Holiday Inn Express. This Holiday Inn Express is nothing special. It's right on uh, Interstate I-85. It's between Spartanburg and Greenville, South Carolina. It is right next to the BMW plant. So, it's a business area. There's a lot of industry in that area. And, basically, the road that the Holiday Inn Express is on is considered Main Street. And, all that's on there is um, lots and lots of restaurants and uh, truck stops and uh, industry. A lot of businesses. And, I picked that Holiday Inn Express because it had an indoor swimming pool and hot tub. That was it. That's why I picked it. Indoor swimming pool and hot tub. That is all I wanted. And basically, that's all we did. We uh, got in the hot tub. We swam. They had an exercise room, a little gym room so Brian could work out. He said they had weights, and they definitely had a treadmill. I didn't even go up there. I don't know what was in the exercise room. I didn't make it up there. I need to. Guys, I've gained 20 pounds, and I'm headed into a cruise and then into surgery, and I have heard this breast cancer makes you gain weight. And I stress a little. I'm just I'm stressing. This, the trip was to help me relax, and it did while I was there a little bit. But it hit me while I was there that I, I really, I have breast cancer. And this, this is serious. This is something serious. And I, I think I was in shock. So I'm 
I'm not dealing with it as well as I was dealing with it, if that makes sense. <sighs> so I'm just, mm, I keep going back and forth about my decision. The results have not come back about the uh, gene. I'm almost certain I have the gene because, uh, as I told you, my mother had breast cancer twice. Turns out, I, I knew my one of my older sisters died of cancer. Uh, she did not tell our mother about it until, you know, there was just, well, I don't think she ever did. I think her son, my grand, my nephew told my mom about it. And when we would ask, what kind of cancer is it? He would say, oh, it's just the same kind that Elizabeth Edwards had, John Edwards' wife. And I don't know why I didn't look it up. That seemed to be a good enough explanation for my mother. And I just didn't really pursue it. But when I was talking to my surgeon, she says, it's breast cancer. I guess I've told you guys all this. I tend to repeat. So because of that, now I'm freaking, should I get a mastectomy? Should I just do a lumpectomy like I originally planned? My, like I said, my results have not come back yet. I just don't. I find myself not sleeping now at all. I'm not sleeping at night. I just, my brain, my brain won't shut off at night. And then during the day, if I sit down, just sit in that new recliner that I got, got my new recliner. If I sat in it, I'm out like a light. But I don't sleep well in it. I was expecting it to be extremely comfy. And it is, it is comfy, but it leaves me with a sore neck. So, I got to get a pillow to put under my neck, I think. I've got to just, I've got to quit worrying and stressing. And I don't, I try not to do it in front of my husband because he is stressing and worrying. And I'm telling him not to when I'm doing it at the same time. Oh, Lord. This is, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Why I, at first, was just like, oh, okay. And now I'm more worried. But, I need to stick with like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of this. This is no big deal. I got this. And I feel like I got it. For the most part. I am worried because I have five spots, five places. The lumpectomy will take care of the three biggest areas. The other two are calcifications. Um, I don't know. My eyes are so dry. My The skin around my eyes. I've got to work on my, my complexion some more. My eyes are dry. I put cream up there, but they still feel dry. And my eyes have felt like they are, the actual eyes are dried out. And they kind of feel scratchy. And whatever. It's just. Oh! I was going to put glitter drops in with my foundation, and I didn't do it. Well, I guess I won't use the glitter drops today. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just all over the place, so just pray for me. Pray that I just get some peace. And, but yeah, I'm coming down to the wire. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. Yeah, I'm coming down to the wire. It's, um, I just got off the phone with my mother-in-law and tomorrow, Laura, tomorrow's Friday, which is when you're watching this. So when you're watching this Friday. My sister-in-law is coming over, and uh, Wesley is coming, and we're going to walk the easement area. He's changed it from where he had it before, and it's down in the very flat, so it's not going to be, it's not going to disturb anything I have. He's not going to be digging up anything that's already existing. It's just a flat area. Um, it's nothing for him to dig in that area, so all I ask is that my son's trampoline is there 
they carry the trampoline up the hill and when they're done put it back in the flat and sow grass seed and put hay on it and that's it and let's just I just want it over with I want all of this over with and done with I am just feel like I'm at my breaking point with all of my stress and worry and I'm just I'm done I'm done with it um, I mentioned in my um, I'm not liking this Chila stuff by the way I'm starting to it's starting to I might declutter it real soon um, I mentioned in my weekly vlog on my other channel that um, and the other channel is called Patricia's Travels and there's a link down below or at the end of this video but I mentioned that my sister-in-law wants to set up uh, a thing for me on take them a meal and she needs email addresses for anyone who wants to provide a meal for my family while I'm recuperating you don't have to live here you can um, they have a on the website you can order meals uh, the meals feed three to four adults which is what we are and they will ship them uh, fully cooked but frozen and all they have to be do is warm up warmed up and so if any of you guys are interested in participating in that let me know I hate asking I don't I don't want to sound like I'm begging but I I do worry about the food situation um, we really can't afford to eat out all meals and um, my husband he can grill but I don't eat meat I think he would be okay making spaghetti he can make uh, scrambled eggs uh, other than that he always has if he makes something he comes and asks me he comes and asks me and, and so, yeah, I'm a little nervous about the meal situation. I'm going to tell you a little story. When my mother had her mastectomy, I was younger than Nathan. And uh, my dad didn't know how to cook either. My mother was in the hospital for a month because she wasn't healing. My mother always was a slow healer. So they kept her in the hospital an entire month. And that month, we ate beans. I ate beans cans of beans I, and and sandwich bread because my dad didn't, didn't know how to fix anything so <laughs> I guess maybe that I have flashbacks of that I don't yeah that's what I eat I've got to do my brows I might do those later this evening okay let me get back to if you're interested in and I'm not asking, I mean, if you can't do it, please don't feel obligated that you have to to do this, please. Uh, but if you feel like you could uh, do it, I would appreciate it. And just email me, findingmytierra at gmail.com so I can get your, I'm throwing everything on the floor, so I can get your email to my sister-in-law. And uh, also, uh, I have a mailing list started. If you want updates on how I'm doing, my husband has agreed to uh, send out a group email or emails for me. And then it'll be easier for me, too, when I'm able to do the emails myself. I can keep you guys up to date if you're interested. Again, I'm not pressuring. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm begging or pressuring. Um, but, yeah. Okay, now. Let me get back to my weekend coming up. So I told you about Friday. Friday night, Nathan is spending the night with Grandma along with my niece Meredith. And they're putting up Grandma's Christmas tree. We are not doing Christmas this year as far as decorating. I'm not putting any decorations up of any kind. Um, yeah, for the first time ever in my life. No decoration. Uh, I'm going to use this new palette I got in my BoxyCharm, this Ace Beauty. I'm going to play with it. So, yeah, he's going to be decorating Christmas tree, and then on Saturday, Grandma, Meredith, Nathan, and I are going to go see the new Fantastic Beasts movie 
in the afternoon. And also on Saturday is my father-in-law's birthday, but he will be out of town. Uh, also on Saturday is the 35th anniversary of my father's death. My dad died 35 years ago. That's a long time ago. Wow. That's a long time. I think of that when it comes to Nathan. Um, my mother having cancer when I was young. My father having cancer when I was young and passing away from it. And all the things I had to do to help my parents and help take care of my parents all through the years. All through all the different illnesses and problems. And I just, I don't want Nathan to have memories like I do. Oh, I don't want him to, you know. It's hard. I'm the caregiver. I'm not the one who gets taken care of. So, yeah, I'm, I'm having a little issue with the whole situation. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to, I'm telling myself, you know, I have to do what I have to do. I'm going to have to ask for help. I'm going to have to let people take care of me. And just accept it and be gracious and go along with it. These shadows are not very powdery. They seem pretty nice. I have a new shirt. My husband bought me a new shirt. It's a red plaid shirt from um, Bass Pro Shop. And we bought it while we were our little quick getaway. You know, it buttons all the way up the front, so it's something I can easily wear while I'm recovering. I think I'm going to wear it Christmas Day since I can't wear my Christmas sweaters because they go over the head and I won't be able to, won't be able to put those on. So. Wear this. I'm hoping Christmas Eve I can at least make it to my mother-in-law's. She's only like two, three miles down the road, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. We will see. It'll be a week. Surgery will be like a, a week out. We'll see. What next? Hmm. I want to try this clove. Let me try some brushes. Let me try some of these new brushes that I got. I'm going to try that clove. When I um, swatched it, it was powdery. And it is powdery. It's got some kick up. But you know what? Okay, look at that. It's, it's all gone. It completely knocked off. I don't know how well this clove is. I'm going to kind of blend it in. I don't know. Seems to be okay. I'm going to go with Poppy. I'm just putting a little bit of everything on. Now this one is not powdery at all. Okay, what else can we talk about? Um, they have not worked anymore on the property because um, we've had rain, rain, rain. We've already, uh, it's November, and we've al already had the wettest year ever on record here. And it is raining right now. And they have not 
since that last chat to get ready with me where we could hear the trees coming down and then um, that was the last time they worked on that property they have not done anything else to it the water department came and did some digging but that was not the property not working on that property so yeah that property hasn't been touched since that day because of the rain I don't know how long it's going to take them I don't know when they'll get that easement done but I'm not, I'm not really going to worry about it let's see I might I wonder if I'm going to need Let's check out Myrtle and Primrose. Okay, I didn't get a wipe. Let's take Myrtle, which is the more rose gold. Let's put it on my lid. He goes on pretty good without, um, with a dry brush, which is fine. This is a nice palette. I think this is a nice palette. Um, it's not like my favorite palette ever, but it is a nice palette. These shadows are nice. I'm still on the fence about that one color called clove. I am not sure about it. But um, everything else seems to be nice. I'm going to take jasmine on my finger. Touch it in the center. In a corner. Okay. I think that's that's okay. That's all right. Let's put some mascara on now. There we go. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I have a lot of palettes in that color range, so but it's still it's a nice palette, and the colors are nice. Like I said, I'm not sure about clove. That's the only one I'm not sure about. Next, oh. Next, I'm going to use my new Hourglass palette. Uh, I said in my haul I didn't think it was worth $80. I still don't really think it's worth $80. But you know what? These products are great. I, the more I use this palette, the more I fall in love with this palette. So I'm not sorry I bought it at all. Um, I have used the finishing powders now, too, and I really like those. In fact, let's put some finishing powder on. I'm using this little brush I got when I turned rouge this year and it fits in these pans perfect so now I put this color on now I'm going with the bronzer yeah very pretty Now I'm going to go with this blush here in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to go with, it's a strobe. It's not a highlighter, it's a strobe. Does it have the name? Here we go. Strobe Powder Euphoric Strobe Light. Oh, it's got a mirror. 
Okay, just use this. I think that's just perfect for me. I'll just finish up with this mirror because I like this mirror better. And now for my lips, I'm going to use one of my new uh, Melted Matte Too Faced Lips that uh, is in the uh, limited edition Christmas set. This is Cinnamon Bear. It smells like cinnamon. I really needed a liner with that, but I didn't use a liner. But there we go. That's my look. And what am I doing today? I'm going to film a couple more videos for you. And you're going to see the same look. <laughs> and I have, uh, I need to clean up the kitchen. And I've gotten a lot of cleaning done uh, to the point where I think I'm just going to say, you know what, don't go in my bedroom. Don't come in here. This looks good. I mean, I've got clothes hanging on the closet door. I've got, I just don't feel like really doing a major cleanup in here. I might week after next, but yeah, I'm to the point where just, you can go to my bathrooms, go to the kitchen, the dining room, or the living room. Otherwise, off limits. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all for watching and um, thank you all for being here for me. I really do appreciate that. Uh, I love all the uh, emails, all the comments uh, on Facebook too, everywhere. And I know I don't answer everybody back. I try to answer as much as possible, but sometimes I feel overwhelmed. Uh, I do try to give you a heart to let you know I have read your comment. I am trying to answer them all, but sometimes I just, I just can't. And I hope you understand that, but I, I'm trying the best of my ability. So, again, thank you all, and I will see you guys next time.